Doing well in ops and combat is key to your progress in Lost Light. The 13 tips in this video will help you make the most out of your ops. Please tell me in the comments which one was the most helpful to you. I have a video coming up with tips and tricks about playing ranked mode, so make sure you subscribe and don't miss that. Let's start out with the most important one. Ammo. One thing you shouldn't cheap out on in Lost Light is ammo. Having good ammo can and will be the difference between life and death. Pay attention to the penetration damage of the ammo you buy. The higher the penetration damage, the better your ammo deals with higher level armor. It also shows which armor classes it will penetrate. Higher penetration ammo costs more but is worth it. With low penetration ammo, you risk blowing hundreds of bullets into an enemy with class 5 armor, while barely doing any damage. Higher grade ammo will rip through it instead. On the other end, having high class armor will save your life. If you wear high class armor and meet someone who didn't watch this video, there's a chance they might have crap ammo and won't stand a chance against you. This pretty much works the opposite to the ammo tip, so I won't go into more detail here. If your opponent has high grade armor, you might want to go for its legs. Even the highest grade armor doesn't protect the legs, so you'll actually deal more damage to the legs than you will to the head. This is especially true if you have low penetration ammo. Since this applies to you as well, I would recommend trying to keep your legs and lower body behind some crates while in combat. Protect your legs at all costs. Before going into ops, make sure you insure your gear. It's pretty much always worth it, and in my experience you get your gear back more often than not. Insuring each item costs less than buying it again. You'll have to wait around a day for it to arrive in your mailbox, at which point you'll have a whole or at least parts of a loadout ready to go. Take note that insuring your gear isn't worth it in ranked mode, seeing as you won't get your gear back either way. When gearing up for an op, you should keep a weapon slot open if you're looking to stack cash value and do money runs. You'll find weapons on both marauders, players and in weapon cases and they're worth anything from 30,000 and upwards. Of course, if you're just going for kills and PvP, you may choose to disregard this tip as you'll want more firepower instead. An AR and a sniper would be a good bet. No matter if you're going for PvP or money runs, you should always fill your bags to the brim. Either with items you need or items of a high S value as possible. One free slot, even if the item you would have taken is only worth $2,000, that will add up to around $200,000 over 100 raids. Be greedy. The next tip is very important. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Doing so will increase your chance of finding a drone or a gold diamond ring in your next match. The next few tips will deal with passive skills and things you should think about during your ops. First off, throw a few grenades around, even when you don't need to. This is one of the factors in leveling up your strength, which in return that you throw further, jump higher and sprint better. If you find a grenade in a box or an enemy and you're not gonna take it, then just throw it instead. You might want to be careful with the frag grenades as they do generate some noise and might attract more enemies. Also try and drink and eat leftover foods and drinks that you find during your raids. This will help level up your nourishment skill, which in return makes you lose less hydration and energy the higher your level goes. This will help you out in the long run. I recommend always bringing some keys for the map you're going to. I tend to fill my safe pockets with them, and preferably I do so with a keyring, which lets me bring even more keys. Locked rooms can be a bit hit or miss, but generally they'll have more valuable loot than unlocked rooms. Most locations also have locked containers that can be opened with a key. Learning the locations of these and all the locked doors will help you increase your value of each run. When extracting, you can make it safer for yourself by smoking the extract. Enemy players do sometimes camp extract points, so laying down some smoke will make it harder for them to see you. They still know you're there due to the bellowing alarm and on-screen message, but they will have a harder time seeing you and killing you. Unless they throw a frag grenade, at which point you might as well just accept your fate. While at close range to your enemies, using hipfire can be a safe bet. It's easier to hit moving targets up close this way as you rely more on the spread of your weapon than the accuracy of your aim. I recommend checking the spread pattern of your weapon while you're in a shelter to see how it is. This way you know how you should compensate for it. Do a bit of testing with this to see what fits you the most. I've already mentioned grenades once in this video, but here we go again. Use grenades as a tactical tool. They are there for a reason. They can be used to flush out enemies from their hiding places or simply blow them into smithereens. The smoke grenades also act as great escape options if you're being pinned down. They're easy to forget, but hopefully this tip will change that. 
Since this is a third person shooter, you should always be checking your corners before going around them. Enemies can be anywhere, so you want to make sure a room or street is safe before heading in. Just use your camera to take a quick peek. This has saved me a couple of times, where I would have walked right into the enemy's line of fire if I hadn't checked before. Some people look down on third person peeking, but it's there in the game, so just use it. And that's it for the tips and tricks to think about during your ops. Next up, I'll be making a similar video about ranked mode, so make sure you subscribe and don't miss it. If this video was helpful to you, it would be nice if you dropped it a like. I also have a video showcasing tips and tricks about your shelter, so make sure you check out that one. You'll find it up here. This was Totally Free Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.